Hey guys, this is just another warning from the Watchmen, not another judgment. This is going to be a uh, small brief update of um, a sneak peek on the subject of the secrets of the witch language and incantations. Now I'm going to give you guys the meaning behind... Um, and the meaning and the reason of naming a certain city uh, the what they named it and also uh, the background root origin of the meaning of church the word church in English um, so the word church in English you can trace that back to a Scottish word pronounced Kirk. Hence the reason why you have the TV show, you know, Captain Kirk. That's just a little side funny thing. Captain Kirk Enterprises. Kirk and church, you know, they, they mean business, profit, um, company. That's what enterprise is. Um, but you can trace the word Kirk all the way back to a Greek goddess of witchcraft by the name of Circe spelt uh, C-I-R-C-E Greek goddess Circe or mother Circe is what they called her um, now mother Circe would she she was best she was the the most knowledgeable witch of um, you know stuff like incantations, uh, definition, um, she was an enchant, uh, she was an entran da -da -da. enchantress. She was an enchantress, um, and a hypnotist. So what she would do, this Mother Circe, Mother Kirk, Mother Church, she would lure, or in using using in using incantations, she would uh, hypnotize, lure in her enemy, um, lure them into her home. Um, turn them into animals and eat them or live off of them now uh, these days and not all because I'm a Christian you know praise Yeshua however today a lot of these churches a lot of these Mother Circe spirits have crept their way into our temples where we worship and um, have began to claim to be a prophet in order to make a prophet uh, and lure the people into their churches into their mother Circe's houses turn them into animals or sheep you know because the majority of these churches are not churches or temples the majority of these churches aren't temples there we go but um, so they lure 
the sheep into the slaughter and live off of them by making a profit off of claiming to be a prophet. However, the Bible warns us plainly of these wolves in sheep's clothing, these Jews that say they are Jews, but they are not, but in fact they do lie. You know, scripture warns us of this. Now, Mother Sears, this is getting into the background of the meaning behind the reason of naming the city what they decided to name it. So now Mother Sears, the Greek witch goddess of witchcraft, she can be looked up on, you know, your internet, your Google, whatever. And she, along with a group by the, t the title of the Druids, now, those of you that don't know who the Druids are, uh, just a real quick main thing is they were of the occult, and they specifically were out to get Christians, kill them, behead believers, rape, rape the women, etc., you know, torture, whatever take the Christian and use them for a satanic ritual they love to do that which is are mostly out to trick the Christians into being what they are or using them for a sacrifice would be like the best thing ever anyways so the mother Sears, that was just a background thing on the people who, who are the Druids, for those of you that don't know already. So the Druids, as well as this mother Sears, uh, Roman Greek goddess Circe of witchcraft, she can be looked up along with the Druids, and both of them are always depicted with uh, the the use within witchcraft of um, favoring a magic wand within their times of incantations and spells and stuff and their magic they just they they favored uh, a magic wand made from the wood of a holly tree or Hollywood there's your small update guys I love you all think about what you say before you say it we should all be knowledgeable of etymology, definition of that is the root origin and the studying of the words and language. Um, the Bible tells us plainly throughout different many scriptures as well. But in one scripture specifically, it says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. And uh, actually one more is uh, that one of the rules that we are to go by as believers and followers of Yeshua is that we are not to even utter, which means speak, we are not even to utter the name of any other God or false God so 
be knowledgeable of the words, guys. You know, like I said, we need to be very knowledgeable of this etymology, you know, our language. Um, words are powerful. I mean, the word, the word words backwards is swords. The Bible also says that words are like a double-edged sword. He's given us clues, guys. We should do our homework more often. Turn off that television that's telling you lies about your vision and what you should be envisioning. Anyways, this is just another warning from your watchman, not another judgment. I love you guys. May Yeshua bless you. And don't forget, know your enemy. Love you guys.